Yo, what's good? So, as promised, I've been pumping out videos for you guys this whole month of December and then going into the first week of January because I missed the first week of December. Um, I'm trying to get a YouTube video out every other day, so hopefully you see a lot of me. Hopefully you guys learn a lot during this month. I know a lot of you guys don't have school. A lot of you guys might be on vacation, so... Every single night, you can tune in to a little TJR Trades, have a little 30, 40 minutes of studying, and then go back to chilling, doing, doing, whatever, you're, doing whatever you're doing. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying these. There's a, a reason why I'm pushing out all these videos during this time, because I know a lot of you guys get busy with schoolwork um, and your jobs, but hopefully you're having fun on like vacation, spending time with family on the holidays, and when you have some free time, you can watch these videos. So. Um, hopefully you guys watch my how to be a funded account challenge in a day or two video um, this video uh, I can't even remember what this video is I think it's on how to read um, news data and then how we can use it within the markets all right so we're gonna be going over that um, in the chart portion but right now um, I'm actually planning on leaving Utah pretty soon um, I actually leave in two days to go to Aruba and then I'll be in Aruba for ten days all the way through Christmas, I get back, um, and then after, sorry, after Aruba, I go to the Bay Area, um, which is where I'm from, to hang out with some family during the Christmas season, and then uh, I think four days after I get back to the Bay Area, I'm flying out to LAX, and then going to the Rose Bowl to watch the University of Utah um, play against Penn State, which will be a lot of fun, a couple me, me and a couple of my buddies are heading out there. So hopefully you enjoy this video. Um, I'll try and get some clips from the Rose Bowl when I do go because that will still be part of the every other day um, video, I guess, challenge for myself. Hopefully I can get, get this out. I'm motivated to do it for you guys. Um, and if I don't, get on me, all right? I know this is early, so I'm like being consistent with it. But later on in the month, it's going to be brutal. I'm going to be trying to figure out what kind of content to push out to you guys. All right, I appreciate you guys. Um, that's kind of it for now, all right? Peace. All right, yo, so it's Thursday morning. Um, it's extra early today. I woke up early so I could wake up before the news came out. And the news just came out. Um, it didn't affect the market too much, so that's good. Um, and yeah, so today, or this whole week has pretty much been a high impact news week. We had CPI, then FOMC, and then we had retail sales, um, PMI, and then un unemployment claims today. So all of those did like, sort of affect the market but not too much so i'm going to trade today because we skipped the past two days um and yeah that's kind of how i gauge news i'll never trade cpi fomc or net or nfp but if it's a red folder and it doesn't affect the market too much i'll end up trading it so yeah you'll probably end up seeing the trade that i took um in the chart portion of this so yeah I'll catch you guys soon. All right, what's good, guys? A little life update. Um, I'm leaving for Aruba, or actually, I'm leaving for the Bay Area tomorrow, and then I'm going from the Bay Area to Aruba. Um, so you won't be seeing much of this crib for the next, like, month and a half, and you won't be seeing this little guy for the next month and a half either. Um, it's unfortunate. I'm definitely going to miss Boogie. Uh, he's my boy, literally best friend since I've got him. Um, I kind of got him as like an emotional support dog because I, like I've mentioned in TikToks and past, um, I've had mental health issues, but not so much recently. It's mainly just like, I love him. He's my boy. He's my little dog, huh, Boogie? Yeah. Um, but yeah, just wanted to give you guys that update if you were wondering like, oh, yo, why aren't you in your crib anymore? Why are you like all over the place? So I'm actually going to be in the Bay Area, then in Aruba, then back to the Bay Area, then to LA, and then back to the Bay Area again, and then back to Utah. And then after that, in February, I'm actually going to Hawaii, and then I'm planning a Dubai trip. I don't have like the month set out yet. I think I wanna go with my uncle because he's been saying he wanted to take his kids there. And I was like, yo, if you go, I wanna go with you because you'll probably be doing a bunch of fun stuff. I'll pay for all this stuff for, my, for myself but I just want someone else to go with me. So that's kind of my travel plans for the next upcoming months. So yeah. Yo, so I just finished up at the gym, still Thursday, keeping you guys updated as promised. 
All right, uh, just finished up at the gym, going back, about to film the video that you're about to watch, which is how we can read and react to news data, okay? And how this can help us with our trading. And then also, how can this help us with just our overall view of our economy in general? All right, so hopefully you guys gain something out of this video. I know it might be a little bit boring, but guess what? It's important to be able to re read news documents, to be able to understand what's going on within our economy so you can see through their BS, all right? Yo, just got Poke Bowl. About to film this little bit for y'all, man. All right, so I was playing some COD, and now my brain hurts because I was playing it for too long. So I'm going to film this video for you guys while Boogie's on, literally on top of me. Do you guys see this right now? Look at him, bro. Sucking my fingers and just completely on top of me. Okay. What's good guys, just got off the game. Um, and today was a really high um, high impact news week. So I thought, hey, why don't we talk about news and how it applies to the markets um, and how we can you know, potentially use news to our advantage, even though I don't like trading high impact news such as CPI, FOMC or NFP, um, how can we use this to our advantage? You know, Learning about it, how will this affect the market long term? All that good stuff, okay? So if we wanna go back to the beginning of this week, all right, on Monday, we didn't have any news. And if you guys wanna know where I get my news from, forexfactory.com, okay? It gives you um, pretty much all the news for really like every currency pair, all right? So if you only trade the S&P 500, perfect. You only have to worry about USD, okay? If you trade Forex, like some of the traders in my Discord or some of the traders that watch me on YouTube, then you might have to worry about maybe GBP pairs, maybe GBP USD. Then you have to watch out for this and this, or maybe AUD USD, right? And then also we have JPY pairs on here as well, all right? So going back to the beginning of the week, Monday, the USD didn't have anything. I'm going to solely focus on USD, everything else. You can just literally just, it's the same thing. It's just vice versa for all the other pairs. Okay, so on Tuesday, we had CPI news data. Okay, so let's say we don't even know what happened, okay? We can click this little folder here and look, okay? We bring up the source of whatever the data was released. Okay, we can click on that and then it'll take us to even more details of what went on, can give us some sort of expl explanation, okay? It also tells us how it's measured, okay? It's what it's measuring, it's the change in price of goods and services purchased by consumers, okay? So this can kind of relate to inflation, all right? So um, pretty much like, are apples increasing in um our apples apple costs increasing is toilet paper costs increasing okay all that's factored into cpi all right usual effect actual actual greater than forecast is good for the currency okay so do we want the us dollar to be more valued or undervalued okay so this sounds kind of contradictory with stocks, we want the US dollar to decrease, okay? We want the currency to be worse, okay? Because when DX, when the dollar, when the US dollar index drops, okay, stocks go up, precious metals go up, crypto goes up, all that good stuff. And if we quickly hop on over here, and if we look at the DXY super quick, if this will even load, okay, if we look at, wow, this is on, crypto now if we look at dxy real quick on the monthly time frame we can see wow okay the past since may of 2021 we've been in a solid uptrend okay pushing all the way up all right so why has the s p been in a downtrend boom us us dollar currency index we can see for the past pretty much year now we've been in this big uptrend okay yeah for the past two years now once this year comes to a close in 15 days Okay, so going back to Forex Factory, we can see that we do not want the currency to perform well if we want the S&P 500 to go up, if we want our stocks to go up, all that. Okay, so frequency, it's released monthly, all right? Next release is on January 12th. We don't really need to know that. We can just check it day to day. Okay, now 
Forex Factory, this is why I love it so much. It breaks it down in the simplest way possible, okay? Why do traders care about it? Consumer prices account for a majority of overall inflation, right? That's what we just talked about. Inflation is important to currency valuation because rising prices lead, lead the central bank to raise interest rates out of respect of for their inflation um, containment mandate, okay? So what is this telling us? It's saying okay, why should we care about this? If inflation is going up, then that means prices are going to rise in order to counteract the inflation. Okay, so how is it derived? The average price of various goods and services are sampled then compared to the previous sampling. Okay, so this month is compared to last month. All right, okay, CPI. All right, so now with all that knowledge, we can go and look at all these past months. Okay, let's look at this month, okay? Before before news gets released, this actual one will not even be there, okay? It'll just show the forecast and the previous, okay? So previous, the previous month was 0.4%, okay? The forecast for this month was 0.3%, okay? And the actual news data that came out was 0.1%, okay? So if we go into the S&P 500, okay? Go into the monthly chart, or sorry, go into the daily chart, we can go over to the day that CPI news data was released. Okay, we can even go into the four hour. All right. When was CPI news, news data released? Let's go into the one hour so we can get it right on the dot. CPI news, boom, was announced on this massive hourly candle. So we can see, oh, the DXY dropped, okay boom, look, we see increase on our chart. Okay. Are you able to actually take a trade right when this happens? I mean, yeah, you could, but you would probably get filled halfway through here. Okay. So if you did want to take a trade, pretty much a gamble of trying to figure out, oh, saying like, oh, I know where CPI news data is going to go, then you would have to be placing buys all through here. Okay. Just like how I placed a swing trade position down here and had take profits here, here, he, and here, and then all the way up here. Okay, so that's how we can kind of use CPI. All right, what else? This is CPI YY. Okay, what is this? Okay, source random website. All right, measures the changes in price of goods and services purchased by consumers. So it's very similar to CPY, uh, CPI. This one was month to month. This one is year to year. So why is this important for us, guys? Well, let's think. This is for the year, guys. This is over the whole year. All right. So if we look, boom, 7.1%. Okay. The previous year was 7.7%. The forecast for this was 7.3%. What did we do? We performed worse. So boom, price went up on the S&P 500. Okay, core CPI month to month. All right, same sort of thing. Okay, moving forward. Now we have FOMC. Okay, FOMC was later on during the day. Okay, why do we care about FOMC? Okay, FOMC is relating to the, to the Federal Reserve. Okay, why do we care about the Federal Reserve? Because they are the people printing money. By the way, Federal Federal Reserve, or most of you guys should know this, um, Federal Reserve is its own entity, okay? It's not a part of the government. The Federal Reserve operates on its own, okay? The government works in tandem with the, with the Federal Reserve, but the Federal Reserve is its own entity, so... Just something, something to keep in mind. I suggest you look up who owns the res Federal Reserve, who started it. Those are some important and, um, in my opinion, some bad people. Okay, so if we look in here, we can see FOMC economic projections. Okay, source Federal Reserve, like I was talking about. Okay, usual effect, more hawkish, which is bullish, okay, than expected is good for currency. Okay, as we can see, we don't have any data for this. Okay, so this is kind of why I don't really like to trade on FOMC. We can't even see the data that gets printed. The only thing that we can do is click on here, okay, and then we can actually go through here and click on these, you know, finding out what they actually talked about, right? Agencies ex extend commitment period on advanced notice, pr proposed rulemaking on large bank res resolvability, okay? Um, all right, so this is four, four times per year, okay? That's just FOMC pretty much saying, hey, this is where we think the economy is going to go, all right? 
So let's close out of this one. Okay, FOMC statement. Okay, this is released eight times a year. Okay, and this is them pretty much doing something pretty similar to the economic projection. Sorry, my dog's crying. Um, similar to the economic projections, okay, FOMC, the Federal Reserve is releasing a statement saying, hey, this is how our country's doing economically. This is kind of what's going on. Okay, now the federal funds rate, this is where the actual data gets released. Okay, we have the previous, right, which was 4.0. Okay, the forecast, which is 4.5, and the actual, which was right on the dot with what the forecast was. Okay, so if we click on here, we can see, okay, we can see what does it measure the interest rate at which depository institutions lend balances held at the at the federal reserve to other depository institutions overnight okay so this is pretty much just interest rates all right so actuals greater than forecast is good for currency so if we saw this being greater what would that do to the s p it would make the s p fall okay if this was less than the forecast what would that cause the s p to do okay it would cause the s p to rise all right what did the s what did the s p do when this was released even though it was the same as the forecast we can see that the previous one was 4.00 but to, um this this week's was 4.5 okay so if we go into the s p all right we can see that this was when fomc happened and price fell we can see boom go back what was the previous 4.0 it rose since the previous one all right what does that tell us it's probably going to cause the s p 500 to fall because it's good for the currency okay now fomc fomc press conference okay what is that that's usually when federal chairman powell hi boogie that's usually when federal move that's usually when okay i'm getting attacked again that's usually when federal chairman powell will go in a pref, press conference they're always live stream right you can go on youtube watch the live stream i almost always watch the live stream because federal chairman powell is the person that kind of is the head of the federal reserve and he kind of dictates okay what are we going to do for the next upcoming months for the next upcoming year and how are we going to fix okay boogie move how are we going to fix our problem with inflation okay so why is this important well first of all he talks about a lot of what's going on within our economy he says hey inflation's really bad right now expect to you know hunker down save up your money don't try and buy stuff because prices are going to be up a lot okay so how is that useful to you that's just useful for you as a citizen of the united states you're realizing okay inflation's getting kind of out of control they're going to try and fix it by increasing interest rates by increasing the prices of goods okay so how is that a value to you it's just a value as a person right it's maybe it's not related to day trading but that's valuable as a citizen sorry my dog is oh stop stop that get away Rah! yeah i bet you're scared of that boogie okay so um that was fomc okay on wednesday which is today or sorry that was on fomc was on wednesday today's thursday okay we still have lots of red folders okay sorry all right so today's thursday okay so what came out today core retail sales month to month okay empire state Man manufacturing index index more retail sales okay and then unemployment claims all right so why does this matter to us perfect let's open up the little folder and then see why who releases it the census bureau okay what does it measure it cha it measures the change in total value of sales at the at the retail level excluding automobiles okay so this is pretty much showing who's buying stuff how much are people buying stuff all right so actually greater than forecast is good for currency as we can see here we had less than we had um we had less than uh what was predicted okay so means s p 500 going up okay whenever you see red it's the inverse for the s p because when the currency does well the s p falls okay so this is released monthly all right we can see this all right moving on um i don't really care about these ones too much okay we can look into this one all right 
Empire State Manufacturing Manufacturing Index. Okay, when is this next one going to get released? Next month. Okay, um, actual greater than forecast is always is almost always going to be good for currency, but it's always good to just double check it. Okay. Now, if we look at unemployment claims, this one is decently important, all right? So actual, actual less than forecast, so if it's less than forecast, it's good for the currency. So now, higher is good for the S&P 500, right? Because less than the forecast is good, okay? So we have higher, that means it's bad for the currency, that means price is going to go up on the S&P 500 and our stocks, okay? What is this? It's the number of individuals who have filed for unemployment, okay? Why is this important? Well, it's just good to know, you know, how many people are filing for unemployment? Are there jobs available? You know, just be a good active citizen, know what your country's doing, you guys. A lot of this doesn't even pertain to trading, but it, just being active within your own economy, within your own news, okay, while also not being skewed by your BS news sites such as CNN or Fox News, okay, we don't we don't want to listen to the girl that's on TV looking pretty just saying random words to you, okay? That girl, she knows nothing about the freaking economy, okay? Go to the actual data that's going to be released. Stop listening to these people who are just eye candy and reading off a script to you guys. Okay, read the actual data and see how it's affecting our economy. Don't sit down with a bag of popcorn and start munching and watching your Fox News, okay? Both and and if you think and if you think this is a, a shot at at po politics, it's not, okay? I'm I'm against both sides. I think our political system is just messed right now. Okay? So, with this, how can we read actual news data and then apply it to the markets, okay? That's what I was showing you on here. All right, so that was really quick video for this week. Okay, hopefully you guys appreciated it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have for news. Okay, we can um, we can go in deeper to this stuff. But honestly, I would rather have you guys do the own research for yourself. Okay, and actually look into this stuff on your own. You need to be reading this news data. Okay, this is actual news data that you should be looking into, that you should be watching. Okay, it should not be the freaking CNN or Fox News. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. I know today was kind of a boring, more boring one. All right, but that's it. All right, peace out.